ever wonder what's really out there in space? Like, are there crazy secrets hiding in the universe? Get ready because there's some huge news coming. A super smart physicist named Mikio Kaku has found something mind-blowing with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's like the cool big brother of the Hubble Space Telescope. Launched in 2021, this telescope is out there in space, checking out all the coolest stuff. It's got these super powerful tools that let it see way back in time, like a time machine from the future. And guess what? It might have just proven that time isn't even a thing. Ready to have your mind blown? Imagine you're at a fancy space art show, strolling around, checking out some super cool pictures snapped by the James Webb Space Telescope, which some people call JWST for short. The pictures are out of this world awesome, with faraway galaxies twinkling like glitter on a black canvas. But here's the plot twist. Instead of everyone being like, wow, that's amazing. They're all freaking out. There's this vibe of confusion and surprise among the space smarty pants, like they just saw a funky painting in a room full of normal ones. They keep saying stuff like, this is not what we expected. So what's the big deal? What's got these brainy folks scratching their heads and rethinking everything they know about space? Although the official papers are tight-lipped about it, the real issue lies with the theory they hold dear, the Big Bang Hypothesis. This is the idea that our universe kicked off in a massive explosion about 14 billion years ago and has been expanding like a giant balloon ever since. This theory has been the cornerstone of cosmological understanding for years, and now the new images from the JDBUST seem to question its validity, sending shockwaves through the community. You can almost hear Alison Kirkpatrick, a seasoned astronomer from the University of Kansas, tossing and turning in her bed questioning her life's work. Why is everyone so surprised? Well, the galaxies captured by the JWST aren't behaving as they should according to the Big Bang hypothesis. They're too small, too smooth, too old, and there are way too many of them. Let's try to simplify the too small conundrum. If you imagine the universe as an expanding balloon, galaxies shouldn't look smaller as they move away from us. After a certain point, they should start looking bigger because their light supposedly left them when they were closer. It's a weird but essential twist in the expanding universe concept. Yet, the images from the JWST show galaxies that are about the same size as the ones near us. It's like you're expecting your distant friends to appear as tiny dots on the horizon. But instead, they're right next to you, just as large as life. Collisions between micro-galaxies have been a long-standing fascination with these cosmic bodies smashing into each other over billions of years, eventually merging to form the full-sized galaxies we observe today. It's akin to toy cars colliding and growing up to become real SUVs. However, recent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have added a twist to this narrative. Upon close examination, the JWST found no signs of the expected cosmic car crashes within these galaxies. One would anticipate colliding galaxies to exhibit some form of damage or distortion, resembling a mangled car after a fender bender. Yet, the reality is quite different. Instead of chaotic collisions, the JWST reveals galaxies that maintain smooth, neat spirals, akin to those nearby. This revelation is significant. One study, fittingly titled Panic, underscores that there are ten times more of these pristine spiral galaxies than theorists had predicted. It's comparable to discovering a bustling highway with speeding cars, but no accidents. This challenges the collision theory profoundly. Without observable signs of galactic mergers, the notion that these tiny galaxies expanded into their grander counterparts starts to crumble. The implications extend beyond galactic morphology. The absence of expected optical illusions that accompany an expanding universe further erode support for the concept of expansion. Consequently, there's a growing unease among proponents of the Big Bang Theory. The appearance of these small, smooth galaxies suggests a departure from the expected narrative. If the universe isn't expanding as anticipated, it deals a significant blow to the Big Bang Theory. Yet, there's more complexity to this puzzle that warrants exploration. The age of stars has long fascinated astronomers, with the Big Bang Theory standing as a cornerstone of our understanding. 
According to this theory, the universe burst into existence in a massive explosion. However, recent discoveries challenge this notion. The James Webb Space Telescope, often likened to a time machine by Mikio Kaku, offers a glimpse into the cosmos's distant past. By capturing infrared images, it unveils galaxies too remote for naked eye observation, revealing a spectrum of colors that narrate a tale of stellar ages. In these cosmic snapshots, fiery young stars blaze in vivid blue hues, contrasting with older, cooler stars that emit yellow and red glows akin to our sun. Astronomers analyze these colors to estimate the stars' ages in distant galaxies. Surprisingly, some galaxies house stars over a billion years old, contradicting the expectation that nothing predates the Big Bang itself. Furthermore, the telescope's observations challenge predictions of the Big Bang theory. Instead of a dwindling number of galaxies as we peer further into space, we find an abundance, including galaxies as massive as the Milky Way, mere hundreds of millions of years post-Big Bang. These revelations, along with recent research indicating 16 incorrect predictions by the Big Bang theory, raise fundamental questions about our understanding of the universe. The discrepancies extend beyond mere details. They shake the foundations of our cosmic comprehension. Each error obstructs the grand panorama of knowledge, leaving us with an incomplete understanding of cosmic nature and origins. These anomalies prompt a re-evaluation of fundamental concepts, such as universal expansion, dark matter, and even time itself. Indeed, if the Big Bang theory falters, our perception of time's flow and its connection to space may require reassessment. This potential paradigm shift parallels the revolutionary impact of Einstein's theory of relativity, hinting at a fresh understanding of the cosmos. As we stand on the brink of cosmic discovery, the universe promises further surprises, urging us to recalibrate our cosmic clocks and redefine our cosmic compasses. Time is an illusion. Have you ever wondered if time, as we understand it, actually exists? Or is it just a human-made concept to help us separate the past from the now? We know it's a heavy question to ask, but stick with us. There's a theory that suggests that time is an illusion crafted from our human memories. This theory proposes that everything that ever happened or will happen is happening right now. It's a little strange, isn't it? Let's dig deeper into this. You'd think naturally time flows forward, right? But guess what? The laws of physics don't actually demand that. These laws work just as well whether time is moving forward or backward. If you've heard of the Big Crunch theory, it suggests when the universe finishes expanding and begins to contract, time might start to run backward. And as the universe shrinks, it'll get hotter, sort of a big bang in reverse. You might wonder what comes after the Big Crunch. It's a question that has puzzled us all. Some theories suggest that a new universe may emerge from a fresh Big Bang, while others propose that our universe might reappear somewhere else entirely, like a cosmic bubble popping into existence. There are even theories suggesting that this cycle might repeat itself over and over, leading to countless universes. This strange possibility of time moving in a forward or backward motion has led some scientists to a bold conclusion. Time, as we understand it, is just a human construct. They argue that we live in a block universe where space and time are interconnected, an idea supported by Einstein's theory of relativity. In this scenario, all events, past, present, and future, have their own coordinates in the four-dimensional space-time. What does that mean for us? Well, it suggests that everything is as real as the present moment. The past and the future are still out there, existing somewhere in space-time. MIT physicist Max Tegmark explained this concept beautifully. He said, We could view our reality as a three-dimensional place where stuff happens over time, or a four-dimensional place where nothing happens, everything just is. If it's the latter, then time is an illusion because nothing really changes. Everything, past, present, and future, is always there. It's certainly a lot to wrap your head around, but isn't it fascinating to ponder such questions? It shows just how frighteningly magical and mysterious our universe truly is. Then we have Julian Barber, a British physicist who has quite an intriguing perspective on time. In his view, our reality is a sequence of distinct now moments, 
like individual snapshots. Imagine flipping through a photo album where each picture is its own unique now. That's essentially how Barber views the universe. Barber argues that our perception of the past is simply a construct of our brain's memories. That is, we only feel like we have a past because we have memories of it. The actual concept of the past, according to Barber, might be an illusion. He further elaborates on this concept through his spatial theory. In this theory, each now moment exists in a place within a vast landscape, which he whimsically calls Plutonia. Every point in Plutonia represents a now, and this landscape itself follows perfect mathematical rules, making it timeless in nature. This perspective connects back to a much more familiar name, Albert Einstein. Einstein's theory of space-time is central to our current understanding of the universe. However, its implications and our comprehension of it have sparked some critical questions. What if Einstein's space-time concept was erroneous? Could discarding it entirely provide us with a clearer comprehension of the universe?